and welcome to another video from beautiful St. Croix. Today we are here in Christiansted, the largest uh, city on the island and we are going to explore this. We are going to see the fort, the famous port walk. So come on, let's go! And we have to stay out of the sun because we are Scandinavian pale people who get hurt. St. Croix is a tropical paradise. It's a great place to relax and unwind, but one of my favorite things about St. Croix is its rich history and culture. Riverville. And maybe the rum. I see five dollar cocktails. It's really good. Hot one? Yeah. Thank you so much. Take a look at all these huge fish. The island has a vibrant mix of African, European and Caribbean influences. Cheers! Which makes for an interesting travel experience. Wait for me! Fort Christiansen, built on the site of earlier French earthwork, this Danish fort guarded town and harbored through the perilous early years. The mission was accomplished, attack never came. You can't visit Christiansted and not swing by Fort Christiansvern, a well-preserved 18th century fort located only a few steps from the famous boardwalk. The fort is a reminder of the island's Danish colonial history, which is an important part of St. Croix's cultural heritage and what brought us to the Virgin Islands. What the is down there? Dennis? I think we can do something cool. I think we can go down here. Hold my beer. Close the dungeon. I'll hold my empty drink, please. <laughs> well, I will go down here. Oh my god. <laughs> so, either they weren't very tall, or this was not a very comfortable place to be. Maybe. Oh my god. I think I hear all the ghosts here. I want to break free. I want to break free. Turns out I could have just read the sign. It says that people could be locked in the dungeon for years. We found the rest of the gang here. Like many other Caribbean islands, St. Croix has a troubled past with slavery and colonialism. The island was a major hub for the slave trade and many of its early settlers were brought to the island against their will. And the Danes played a big part in this. This is a part of Danish history that we are very ashamed of and as we enjoy the beauty and culture of St. Croix, it's important for us to acknowledge and remember these difficult parts of history as well. The fort was really interesting. Personally, I prefer the one in Frederikstad. It's uh, not as well maintained, but I think it's a little bit more beautiful. But yes, that's a matter of taste. Why did the chicken cross the road? Excellent. The historic town of Christiansted is definitely a must when you visit St. Croix. This charming town is filled with colorful buildings and cobblestone streets, and it's also home to a number of restaurants and shops. But don't expect a major shopping experience. We went back to Frederikstad for a sunset dinner, and the next day we returned to Christiansted because Dennis's dad signed up for a diving tour. So we are here to drop him off, and then we're gonna go explore some more. Oh, quick as a cat. We're just waiting for them to sail off so we can take a few pictures of them on the boat and then we're gonna find find a drink. So this is the house brew and the verdict is maybe they should just import their beers. <laughs> maybe they should just import them. <laughs> Oh, we did 
just got our food. $8.15. Yeah, okay. I'll be right back with your lunch. Oh, Thank this you. looks good. Hello. This is so Hello. insanely good. Are you really sure? good. <laughs> oh my god. It's amazing. That's it for today's video from St. Croix, but we're not done with this island yet, so please subscribe to my channel if you aren't already, and stay tuned for the next video where we find an amazing beach and visit an old sugar plantation. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to follow along on Instagram as well. I'll see you in my next video from beautiful St. Croix. Bye!